What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Wrong Agenda Podcast. I am just Dale, and I'm a little out of breath right now. I was just screaming, the fight just ended. Haney versus Garcia. Whoo! So much to say. You can check out my moral shirt. It's dope. Um, if y'all didn't check out my short film, which just released, why are you here? Y'all check that out. Link will be there. Look for it on the channel. Anyway, let's get into it. Whew, so much to say here. Um, first and foremost, I mean, if y'all didn't see the fight or y'all don't know what's going on with the fight already, spoilers, whatever. Who cares? Um, man, I'm going to just start out by saying the lead up to this fight was crazy. All the antics are done, whatever you want to call it, antics are not. Uh, all the all the press conferences, the pushing, the shoving, everything surrounding it. Bernard Hopkins, everything, everything led up to this one moment. And um, I'm gonna just try to go through it as best I can. Man, man, did we get the fight that we wanted? Did we get the fight that we expected? When everyone thought that this was starting to turn into a joke, did we get a real boxing match? Yes, we did. We did. Uh. Man, shout out to to, to both uh, Haney and Garcia, man. They put on a show tonight. Um, I, it was a lot of things, but let's let's start going over it. Um, first round, Garcia came out came out like a lion. He came out, landed big shot. It, it was it was very surprising to me. Um, it's, it's no secret. Haney, the dream. That's my guy. I'm a big Haney fan. Uh, much respect to Garcia. I, I like Garcia too, but if I had to say who has been my favorite guy going into this, of course, Haney. Haney was my guy. Haney is my guy. That's my guy. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was a match, man. It was a gladiator battle throughout the fight. Uh, I seen some things from both of them that I didn't see before. It's a lot of, a lot of aggression from Haney. Uh, Garcia with this weird shoulder roll, uh, form thing i don't know but it seemed to be whatever he needed to do to uh throw him off a bit and he he, he clipped them and he, and he knocked him down and um that's where things got weird for me uh i want to say this might have been the sixth round that this happened in could be wrong just watch the fight but so much on know but uh yeah after he clipped them and he went down i feel like things got a little weird in the fight that's just me personally I feel like the ref took a lot of liberties there in the uh Haney going down a few times and calling them slips and 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 the way he deducted points for certain things and not for other things. It was a lot of mm, it might be a lot of questionable controversy there. Maybe I'm alone on that. I don't know. Like I said, fight just ended. I'm making a video on this. Y'all can tell me in the comments if y'all think there was some questionable decisions by the ref there. Uh, with the slippages and the, and the, and the breakups and the, and the points taken. There was a lot of points taken in this fight from Garcia. Uh, I felt Haney did some things with those back kidney -ish shots. I don't know. Could have been a point taken there, but he did it. Uh, but yeah, the fight went on and Garcia, he was, he was running around the ring for a while. Haney was controlling the fight for a few rounds. And then, um, he came back and put Haney down again. And again, and it was looking kind of strange. I, I kind of felt, I mean, he did what he had to do. That's, that's all I can say. They both fought a great fight. Um, am I happy that this wasn't a title fight, technically? Like, it wasn't for the belt? Um, yes, because I, I, I would love to see them run it back, and I think that gives them the incentive to run it back. I don't know. They both said they would be interested in running it back. So I hope they do do that because really right now, these are the two guys I want to see fight again, because this is such an amazing fight. And, you know, I know we're going to hear the three pound overweight thing and, and all of this. And yeah, I get it technically, whatever, but you know, he fought a good fight, man. Haney fought a good fight. Garcia fought a better fight today. And that's all I can really say about that. I don't really think the three pounds was that big of a deal. I don't know what the final weigh-ins were because they didn't weigh in right before the fight. But they looked to be within a similar size. Definitely enough to fight, in my opinion, whatever that means. But, um, yeah, Garcia got the decision. And, yeah, he, he was on his game. He came there and he fought a fight. There was no antics in that ring. Whatever you want to say outside the ring, there were no antics in that ring. 
Uh, Haney gave it to him. He said he fought a good fight. He liked to run it back, rightfully so. I hope he does. Like I said, Haney's my guy, the dream. I want to see him prosper. You know, it hurts. It hurts to see that as a fan, you know, of, of Haney. But as a fan of boxing, I think this was great. And and I, I love to see fights like this. Uh, I did actually take a Hail Mary bet on Garcia decision, which it was just like, you know, it was the odds were crazy. And I took the Hail Mary bet. So, hey, I got something good out of it. But, um, yeah, at the end of the day, man, it was a good fight. It was a good fight. Garcia, yeah, you, you can't ignore the guy. You can't ignore the guy and everyone saying that he's out of his mind and he's crazy. Okay, if you think so. But he knows what he's doing in that ring. So I'm inclined to say he might know what he's talking about outside the ring. I mean, we could listen to him, right? Like, what's wrong with that? But, um, yeah, I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see that fight happen. It was such an amazing fight. It was an amazing fight. I'm really... I don't know, man. What do you guys think? What do you guys think right now about this Haney Garcia situation? Now that in the pros, we know they had these things back and forth in the amateurs, but now in the pros, Garcia has proven to come out on top with what I it was a you um it was a majority decision officially. But what I would say is just he won the fight. He dominated the fight. It was it was not a question to me that he should have won the fight. And um, what do you guys think now? Do you think they should run it back? Do you want to see them go on to fight other people? They both have one loss at this point. I think it's only right for them to 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 mix it up again. I know a lot of people is throwing other names out there and Shakur's and Tanks and weight class moving around and stuff. But I really want to see these two guys do it again for the belt. Now that all this is out the, out the way, out the air, if they do antics or anything again, I'm sure people won't pay attention as much. And um, it'll be back down to the fight, and they'll, they'll hunker down. They'll get together. But, man, it, it was a wonderful fight. Uh, yeah, Barclays was was on fire tonight, man. It was on fire. I don't even get to talk about the, the, the prelims or any of the, the undercard. But maybe I'll get to that tomorrow or something. I just want to get you guys out and hear what you guys think about this in the comments. Man, this is probably the biggest fight uh, that I could think of in my mind that for this year. Uh, unless you consider Tyson Paul, that's up in the air. But yeah, man, I, I would love to see them run it back before the end of the year and, and see what happens. And yo, shout out to Garcia and Haney and both their camps. Thank you for putting on a great fight. I'll be there if you do it again. And, and, you know, boxing didn't let me down today. Didn't let me down. The judges, you know, they didn't let me down because, you know, I'm a Haney fan, but you got to give credit where credit is due. And I said, if they rob Garcia, I'd be highly upset at just boxing in general. But I'm glad they did what they did. And, you know, run it back, guys. What y'all think? It's been your boy, Just Dale. Once again, uh, make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. Please comment. I want to hear what everybody got to say about this. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people thought this could be a thing. The bet knobs were insane. It was insane. The underdog. I was just surprised how much of an underdog Garcia actually was on this. But, um, yeah. Hey, some people are going on with a big pocket full of change tonight. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, yeah, check out my movie while you're here. You know, uh, I'll put the link down there and you can find it here on this channel and we'll see what happens. I'm out.